The Road to Tough Mudder 2019 starts right here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new. Come on in. It's been a while since I last posted a video. We won't get into all of that. I'm working on something new. I will to tell you all about it. Those of you who have been to my channel before will know that I enjoy fitness and I enjoy a bit of a challenge. A couple of years ago I did the London Marathon, one of my most viewed vlogs. Feel free to check it out, it's something I'm particularly proud of. Now, having spent the last six months or so in and out of fitness due to either injury, laziness or holiday, uh, I've decided that I need a bit of a challenge to get myself back on track. And so in September this year I will be taking part in my third Tough Mudder. If you're not familiar with Tough Mudder, if I were to break it down to a few small bits, you get electrocuted, you get frozen, you run 12 miles or so, you get electrocuted, you get gassed. Now there is a lot more to it than that of course, but it isn't a particularly easy challenge. But for me, I seem to work best from my fitness perspective when I have something to work towards. So I'm hoping that this new journey will allow me to really concentrate and get myself back to where I want to be. To start us off, I have taken some pictures as I am right now. So I've got something to look back on. In six months or so, hopefully I will see some changes in my body. Now I know that I have a little bit of weight to lose straight off the bat. I've just come back from holiday and I'm confident that the burgers and the beers added a few pounds. But beyond that, I'd like to really improve my strength, get my cardio back from my running and really get myself in a fit state. So when Tough Mudder comes around, I'm ready to give it my all. I'll be trying to log my progress between now and the big day, so if you do want to keep tabs on my progress, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed any of my content, likes are very much appreciated, and if you've done anything similar, and if you've got any tips, or if you generally want to pass on some feedback, drop a comment in the box below. But for now, let's get started. Okay, so it's week one, day one. I've taken measurements of my arms, of my stomach area, and of my chest and I'm now gonna weigh myself, and these are gonna be the metrics that we're gonna use for the rest of the time doing this, and I'm also gonna weigh myself on a Monday. So rather than using it as a pat on the back, you've had a good week, it's gonna be a motivation of, you need to get your ass into gear. So that's where we're starting from. Warm well, up done. Sweat. Oh. And we're done. Sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. I am aching like nobody's business. Um, that is what you get for not going to the gym for the best part of two and a half weeks. Home for a protein shake. Day two. Today I'm going to go out for a run. Yesterday I went to the gym. It was hard work, not going to lie. Uh, I didn't eat brilliantly but at the same time I didn't eat badly and unfortunately I only had my protein shake and then my dinner and you really went to have three meals a day uh, so we'll try and fix it out today we're gonna go through a nice and early it's now coming up to nine o'clock should be back by about ten have some breakfast then be around for lunch that's not gone well I'm in the middle of nowhere because the run aborted because I just didn't really have anything left in the tank and I gotta walk all the way home uh, breakfast day three rest day today which is good because the legs are hurting day four Sat in the gym car park, just about to head in and do a workout. First one since Monday. Yesterday was the rest day, of course. Legs are still a bit sore from the run on Tuesday. But I'm going to try and attempt another run again tomorrow, which hopefully will be much better, but frankly, couldn't have been much worse. So let's get into the gym and see if we can get something serious going. <laughs> So final day for a couple of days rest. I'm gonna go out for a run again. I don't normally go for two runs in a week, although I'm gonna try and keep it varied. Um, but the one earlier this week was awful. Uh, so I'm gonna see if we can make amends. It's a bit chilly, not quite as windy, although I can see the uh, bushes blowing in the breeze. And it's just started to rain. What a delight. There we go, <laughs> run done. Eight kilometers, which is approximately five miles. A little bit slower than I would be in the grand scheme of things, but given the state of that run the other day, much, much, much better breathing hard. Uh, but I'm happy with that, and that's week one done. Uh, today I'm just going to try and consume as much water as possible, have a protein shake. And on that note, see you next time. 